This demo shows how to track Mac OS X user activity by examining artifacts and physical memory with volatility. First, you'll see the suspect, Robin, chatting with Sarah using OTR, off-the-record encryption enabled. When Sarah sends Robin her address, he marks the meeting in his calendar and saves the address in his contacts. Robin then logs into his email to receive a PGP encrypted message from Sarah. His secret key passphrase is retrieved from Apple Keychain. You see that this reveals a picture of a fancy bomb, which Robin saves to his desktop. He then replies to the email with a list of URLs he's been researching on homemade bomb construction. The list was kept in the notes application, along with several other notes that he doesn't view during this session. We then suspend the virtual machine to simulate capturing the suspect's physical memory. We set the volatility location and profile and then list the processes. You can see the process IDs for the applications involved in most of the user's activity. First, we use the Mac Notes app plugin to extract the user's notes. These files contain HTML, but we name them with a TXT extension to prevent accidental JavaScript execution. In this case, it's safe to open them in the browser. The results show all of the user's notes, not just the ones he viewed during the Logan session. Now we'll investigate the user's contacts. The Mac Contacts plugin scans for fragments of SQLite database files and reports the contact names. You can then use the Yariskin plugin to inspect memory around those names. For example, in this case, the agent Cooper string is found next to the telephone numbers and emails of all other contacts, including Sarah. The Mac Volgel plugin allows you to interactively explore the memory regions where you see Sarah's address. The next command helps us locate memory resident cache files, in particular the user's primary keychain database. Then the MacDump file plugin can be used to retrieve it from memory. The file is encrypted, so we must use Mac Keychain Dump, a port from the Volifox project, to extract the list of possible keys from the memory dump. We download the Chainbreaker utility and try to crack the database with each of the potential keys.
You can see the results include the user's mail password and GPG private key passphrase. Don't forget about the user's chats. Although they were encrypted on the wire due to OTR, their plain text and memory. The Macadian plugin extracts the messages to individual text files, which also include date and timestamps. Lastly, let's get the process ID of the mail application. This is where the unencrypted PGP mail contents can be located. We use Mac Ariskin to locate instances of the CSS class that encapsulates email bodies for display in the user interface. Then we use MacVolgel to interpret the data as a Unicode string and print it to the screen. Finally, we search the cached file list for items in the mail downloads folder. This is where we find the attachment, which can be extracted and analyzed.